Good afternoon. Welcome to my Sunday broadcast. Casual attire because it's been a busy day. Anyway, um, this is episode number 507. Does your relationship complete you is the topic. And before I get to that, let me introduce myself to you so you know who I am and why I talk about this stuff. My name is Barry Silby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day for the last almost couple of years now, I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. So today's episode, as I said, is 507, which is um, <laughs> a lot now. And the topic is, does your relationship complete you? Because I want to, I want to, well, I was going to say I want to burst this bubble. But for most of you watching me, you probably know what I'm going to talk about anyway, because this is not new news so to speak but for those of you who don't know about this stuff and how you may have things wired backwards this may assist you so hi Julianne nice to have you in broadcast um, oh by the way this is Facebook live first it will be on YouTube later on so if you're watching it there it was Facebook live where you can't see the comments now I'll tell the links afterwards so you can watch the replays then so Facebook live is where it is now oh eventually it'll be on my podcast just to give you another place you can find it later on as well so to the topic um, I was going to do a two-part title, but then I thought I'd give it away if I did that. Because the real title I was going to say was, does your relationship complete you or does it add to your life? Because that's the clue. <laughs> so let me break this down a bit for you. Um, there are many books, talks, um, beliefs that when you're in love in a relationship, it's somehow your life is now complete. That up until that point, you were lacking something or you weren't, compl- or you weren't whole yourself. Like you needed somebody else to make that wholeness happen. And if I must be polite, which I won't be, it's bullshit. <laughs> Let me simply put. There are so many reasons why it doesn't work, but let me give you some, some data points that I'm aware of. For many years, we've been told that relationship is 50-50. That's one. And I've talked about this before. So some of these are, are different things I've talked about over the last 500 plus broadcasts, but I want to distill it down here. Two, two is many, many of the movies, particularly romantic movies out there, put relationship as a... Um, you complete me energetic. Well, basically, to quote Jerry Maguire, <laughs> in Jerry Maguire says, you complete me, which implies you won't complete without them. Sounds very dysfunctional, and I'll break that down as well. Another part, the third one is, um, if you listen to any love song over the last 50 plus years, not, calling, not talking about all the rap and other songs and punk songs that are very actually more abusive than loving, but most romantic songs from the last, since the 1960s at least, if not earlier, were codependent love songs. If you remember, and this is going to go way, way back if you remember this one, this was actually a song I remember when I was a kid, that's dating myself now, by Harry, Harry Nilsson, that's a, that's a name from the past, blast from the past. Um, the, basically his song lyric, the, the, the chorus line which I used to sing as a kid was, I can't live if living is without you. That is way codependent. And that's the thing I want to break down for you because codependence is a trap. In fact, codependence is a self, um, inflicted pain because if you're in a codependent relationship you're inflicting pain on yourself for some very simple reasons so relationship if you think a relationship will complete you I want to go back and like stack this up if you believe that relationship can complete you somehow then you're looking at the paradigm of being in a what I'll call a codependent space codependent means that you're dependent upon somebody else and that person completing you is that literal literal experience of them completing you or them you being dependent upon them there's a couple of things you need to know about codependence. One is it isn't healthy. Well, it's obvious. Well, as you watch my broadcast, you know it's obvious. But secondly, more importantly, it makes you a victim. Yes, it makes you a victim. You may be thinking, how does that work? Well, a codependent relationship means that their influence in your life governs how you feel. Because if they weren't there, you'd feel incomplete, or you'd feel less than, or you'd feel weakened, or you'd feel unloved, or whatever you label you put on it. But you'd be feeling that you didn't have what you wanted until you had that person. They complete you. That completion energetic pulling them in isn't healthy because when you do that, they have control. They have control of how you feel. Let me give you some examples. The person you pull into a relationship, um, forget your birthday. 
and you blow up and get upset with them because they forgot something about born about you they should know better they're in love with you they're, they're your partner therefore you should feel loved and amazing or another situation um, they promised to pick you up and they didn't show up on time or they I don't know they were they never they supposed to pick up the airport and they didn't and they, they forgot something like that these things these instances are very obvious ones simple ones really but they're very basic yet the thing is this is the framework on which codependence is built and if you've been in codependent relationships and you probably know what it feels like because I, I do I do and I've been there myself what they do has great influence on how I feel so that one again what they do or what they don't do even has great influence on how I feel or how you feel that is the um, in a way depiction of codependence is you can't feel you literally well not you can't you won't you won't feel at peace because their influence changes how you feel you've given them to be blunt your trust that they can do anything they want with and they can trample all over it and you will feel like crap codependence in its worst state is abuse codependence in the sense that you cannot leave them because you love them so much and therefore they must be good in them but they do things that are abusive whether it is physical sexual emotional mental or just behavioral you are letting them wound you hurt you injure you make you feel bad this is the pain of codependence in its worst and it's pretty much worst case there's another piece of this and it's not pretty i know and i have an answer for you by the way i do have an answer so stay tuned i'm not going to drop you in the middle of this and leave you here um there was another piece I was looking for. This is the thing about victim, is you've given them permission because this is the thing. And I'm getting on a bottom line here so you know what I'm going to and then I'll get to the answer, so stay tuned. You give your partner permission to treat you however they want and you react accordingly. This again is the codependent paradigm. So when you, when they don't do what you want or when they do what you don't want, Know, same thing or they say the wrong thing or they whatever it is they do that doesn't work for you you get upset and it's their fault now this is the thing I'll make sure you get this point really clearly that means you're not in control of your emotions you're not in control of how you feel because you gave them the keys you basically said here you drive my emotions for me that's the codependent again and this this victimhood it, it's a bit another way in simple terms it won't help you <laughs> I mean I watched my parents in a codependent relationship and they did the best they could but they didn't know better I'm grateful I've had the lessons beyond what they learned and gone their own way and the truth is that codependence which is what you complete me is about is extremely draining it sucks the life out of you so I guess you may be asking me what's the difference the other choice as I mentioned at the beginning I did a PA, I had a, an unspoken second part because the first part was does your relationship complete you what I didn't write was or does it add to your life and that's the clue <laughs> because the relationship adds to your life your life isn't needing that relationship here's the little clue by the way you may want to whisper this or listen to it quietly you are whole and complete as you are you are absolutely whole and complete as you are so stop pretending you're not. <laughs> I'm being blunt, but I want to show you get this point. Because the thing about it in relationship is that person comes into your life or they don't or they leave your life. You haven't changed. Meaning that you are still whole and complete. They didn't take a piece of you with them. It may feel like they pulled a piece of your heart with them and ripped it out of your chest, but they didn't do that. You're feeling like that and you have control over those feelings. That's another level. That's the advanced level I won't cover in here. But the, the truth of the situation is with relationships is they come and go whether it's by death after being together for 60 years, like my parents' situation, whether it was just the two years and they basically bailed on you. Even if they cheat on you, even if they cheat on you, it's not your um, requirement to let them control your feelings. You may get pissed off, it's okay. But you have governance over this. You have, you have a, um, the containment is in you. It's not to them to do anything different to make you, make you feel better. Because as soon as you enter in a situation where you want them to do something to make you feel better, you're back in codependence. And that's the trap. Because in that situation, they control your feelings. Again, they're in charge, not you. You don't want that. So, self-support and really 
being whole and complete, which you already are, is a memory test. Do you remember you're whole and complete? Because you are. So then when you go into relationships, you bring that with you. Because as I said at the beginning about relationships being 50-50, which is the old um, model, it ain't true. Relationship is not 50-50. A relationship is 100-100. The two of you together are actually 200% if you want to give you numbers on it. But the piece about this is big, is that relationships are additive. They're not filling gaps. They're not subtractive. There's no complex mathematics going on here. You're a whole person. They're a whole person. Together, you're greater than the sum of the parts. That's the wonderful thing about relationships when you do them consciously and when you're not doing it as codependent um, victims. So from that place, when you're in a relationship, you're whole and complete. And the truth is you're living your life already in a way that is wonderful. When they come along, they add to your life. It becomes bigger than it was before, but you're not missing something before they show up. This piece of understanding could change your life. Because when you understand this, when you understand this, your life becomes a whole other level of freedom. Because the thing is, it isn't up to them for your freedom, it's up to you. And once you know that, it's like when you know different, you do different. Hope this makes you understand you can do different now. There's a couple of pieces I was dropping earlier I was going to mention. Um, there's an advanced piece about how you handle the breakup. I may do that one tomorrow because that's not that's not part of this conversation because I, I want to keep this one short. I, I have a commit, commitment to attempt to keep my free spot lives down to 15 minutes. I've done pretty good with that most of the time. But if I go into this other piece, it will take a lot longer. So I'll tune in tomorrow. I think I might cover it then. Um, I'll make a note about that. Yes, I'll take about it tomorrow. But in this case, entering into a relationship, being ready for a relationship, being single, and this is a piece, when you're single, you may be alone but you're not lonely. I've talked about that one before and I did a Facebook post earlier today with the picture of Keanu Reeves in it. Actually, it was yesterday. So if you look on my wall and find the one of Keanu Reeves, it talks about that there. So you know it's coming to here. But the reality is you are whole as you are. And if you're alone or you're in a relationship, you haven't changed who you are. You just change your situation. And when you realize the separation of situation from self, that gives you freedom. I hope this is making sense. A couple of little, well, one little tip I'll give, well, actually two tips or invitations, I'll put it that way. I've been harping on this for months now. So if you follow me, you, you've heard me so, so many times, is it starts with taking care of yourself and loving yourself. I have a, I have, I have a practice I offer, is on my website, which is about self-love, because for many people out there, they don't know how to do it. Or they not so much they don't know, much as they forget. So if you get my self-love practice, it's a, mirror, it's a guided, yes, guided, um, mirror meditation practice. Hang on, no. Guided self-love mirror meditation practice. That's the full title. <laughs> it will help you change your, your perspective on relationships because it changes the relationship with yourself. And if you do the practice for 30 days, which I recommend, period, if you do it every day for 30 days and it's, there's, there's a guided meditation in the morning and a guided meditation in the evening that are different, do those for 30 days. It will change your life completely because how you relate to yourself will be so different from what it was at the beginning. And it doesn't take more than five minutes a day, sorry, 10 minutes a day, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. If you do that, I guarantee you'll change your life. And it's not complicated, but you have to do it. So you can do that on your own, or as I'm recommending, I've got that on my website. If you go to my website, which is my name, barryselby.com, forward slash self love, or one word, I'll put the link in the comments. Check it out, and if it, li if it lines up for you, just download it, use it, change your life. Yeah, change your life. There it works. The other question, the other thing is, if you are going through challenges with the past relationships, you're not healing with it, Let's have a conversation. I do offer a discovery session as my gift. I should call it a chat because it sounds more informal. If you go to my website again, which is barryselby.com forward slash chat. Again, link will be in the comments. You can sign up for a discovery session on my calendar, 30 minutes, complimentary, my gift to you. So those two things I'm offering is my support. But again, I want to say this point clearly and simply. You are already whole and complete. No person can take that away from you. You might feel that happens, and I'll talk about that one tomorrow. But the reality is you're already whole and complete. Any relationship you attract, any relationship you want to be in, can add to that, but it cannot and will not take away from it. Only you can believe that in yourself. So for your own sake, please, for your own sake, please, remember the truth of who you are. You deserve the best. You deserve to be whole because you are. And all we need to do is remember that that's the case. So I think that about made my point. <laughs> I appreciate you being with me. I'll quick reminders. This is Facebook Live First, as I mentioned, and it's also on YouTube and on my podcast. I'll give you the links so you know where to find me. Um, this is my daily talk, which is number 507. So it's a lot. Um, on my Facebook, on my, my business page on Facebook, you can find them there, but I'm actually going to recommend YouTube to be easier to watch the replays. On Facebook, you get to see the comments at least. 
So on my business page, which is barrysalvi.author on Facebook, or on my YouTube channel, which is also my name, all my social media is my name, Barry Selby. On YouTube, Barry Selby is the username slash channel. And the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And you can subscribe to my channel and watch it there. And I'm building out my podcast with the replays of this in audio format. Again, Messages from the Masculine is the playlist. You can go to, or is the, is the podcast rather, on iTunes. You subscribe there and download them as you want. So you can listen to what I'm talking about without seeing my face, if you're driving or riding a bike or whatever you're doing. Um, and that's about it. So tomorrow will be number 508. And I think I'm going to do the PS to this, which is about what happens in breakup, about that wrenching feeling and how do you stay complete. Because that's there's a lot of things my clients deal with, so that might be able to help you. With that, I thank you for watching. I appreciate any questions and comments. By the way, this will be available in replay, of course. If you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll respond later on. Again, I'll put the links to the two things I suggested in the comments as well. And I uh, appreciate being with me. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. You take care of yourselves. Bye.